What's going on guys? Classic Thomas FTW, Thomas and Friends Season 25 FTL here. And today, I'm going to be reacting to the second episode of New Friends on the Island. And it's going to be called Dennis's Rocky Road. So yeah, this episode takes place the events after the last episode left off. Like, basically, Neville is no longer friends with Dennis after what he did. And then... And then Ari and Bert decided to just be Dennis's friends. And then, yeah, I'm not going to tell you much about the plot because I don't want to spoil it for you. So, yeah. So, we're into the second part of the Neville and Dennis saga. And, yeah. So, without further ado, let's begin. Three, two, one, go. Dennis sat sadly in the yard. He knew that his laziness had caused Neville's dreadful accident. Yep. And he felt Told you it was the second part of this um arc. The other engines refused to talk to him. <laughs> Dennis was alone. Oh, I wish I hadn't been so lazy. I wish I'd been really useful. Just then, well, Harry you and Bert rolled up. Oh no, it's the menaces of doom. Are you new? Yes, I, I recently arrived here. Dennis was delighted to finally have someone to talk to. I wouldn't be friends on. with them if Very I were you, good. Dennis. Indeed. Harry and Bert are suspicious. And what I mean by that is you they're really, the really matter? evil. I caused my new friend to have an accident. And now he and, and the rest of my friends Diesel. are ignoring me. I wouldn't worry about that. Diesel's a very forgiving engine. Who? You don't know Diesel. Who are these friends of yours, then? Thomas, Percy and Neville. Ah, that's the problem. You foolishly made friends with the Steamies. I beg your pardon? Steamies. They're all hurried engines, and they all mistreat us diesels terribly. Exactly. Well, they refuse not to give all us the a time. second chance for our mistakes, yet forgive each other for anything. <laughs> you made a mistake. Well, they're not they prejudiced toward Mavis, Salty, Daisy, However, Boko, we want to be your Derek, Salty, Hey, I said Salty. And we'll make mm. sure you're treated Rusty with the utmost and respect. all the other kind diesels. But I caused a serious accident. I can see why they won't talk to me, but I want to change. I want to be worthy of their friendship again. So yourself. But if you change your mind, you know where to find us. And the two diesels left. Dennis was confident that he could regain his friend's trust. He wasn't sure how. I'll work harder than I ever have in my life. Well, that's so he good did. to hear. Dennis spent all morning tidying the yard. <laughs> now you can get the time to redeem yourself. Then he oiled to the sliding oh. for a rest. He stared happily at his work. <sighs> a work of art. Dennis was just falling asleep when the yard master ran up to him. Gordon's stuck on the hill. We need a banker quickly. <sighs> I'll go, sir. Are you sure, Dennis? You are on your break. You need your rest, and Toby's nearby. I'm closer, and the rest can wait. I must help Gordon. Very well, Dennis. Well, that Dennis can prove to redeem himself Meanwhile, after what he Gordon did. Stood crossly on the hill. This troublesome hill has made a fool of me too many times. Relax, what are you going to do? Help is on the way. I'm the express engine. I shouldn't need help. Just then. Gordon heard a horn in the distance. It's Dennis. Marvellous. A diesel. Could today get any worse? Dennis approached the bottom of the hill. Hello, Gordon. I've come to give you a push. Uh, just get this humiliation Monsters. over with, you filthy diesel. There's no need to be so rude. Well, I'm here to help nice. you. 
Diesels are no help. They're a waste of real space. Dennis was offended, but he knew that if he helped Gordon... You do realise that not all diesels are Dennis just bad. Dennis jumped Gordon's coach. Ready? Oh, I suppose so. Gordon snorted slowly up the hill. <sighs> Dennis pushed Let's as Let's get this over with. Gordon's coaches were heavier than anything Dennis had shunted before. It was hard work. I will do it. I will do it. I will do it. Wheel turn by wheel turn, Dennis forced the coaches up the hill, and Gordon pulled with all his might. Eventually, the train reached the top of the hill. Without even acknowledging Dennis, Gordon rocketed down the hill and disappeared. Dennis was very proud of himself. <sighs> I did it! When Dennis returned to the yard, the other engines were there. They were all Thomas, very Toby, pleased. Percy, and Neville. A jolly good show, Dennis. Yes, well done. I was resting at the time, and I'm extremely grateful that you volunteered to help Gordon at the cost of your own rest. Indeed. I'm proud of you, Dennis. We all are. It takes well, a good everyone, engine to aid except to for one. mistakes. You're following the right road, Dennis. Stay on it. Dennis felt very happy. However, he noticed that Neville was the only one who had remained silent. Are you alright, Neville? Neville's still oh, mad about are what you he still did. angry with me? Because I've changed Neville. Oh, I, I believe promise he is. you. Have you? You have gone up a hill. Great work. Well done. That is a step in the right direction. But don't forget, you caused me to crash. Only once you prove to me that you have fully changed will I forgive you. But how am I going to do that? That is up to you. And Neville puffed away. Dennis was oh very upset. Goodness. He had helped that horrid Gordon now. and still hadn't achieved forgiveness from Neville. Maybe he never would get a second chance. And maybe Steam Engine did mistreat Diesels. Would you like to sleep with us tonight, Dennis? Uh, thanks for the offer, Thomas. But I have somewhere else to sleep. That night, Dennis oh, okay. oiled to kill Dane and rolled towards the sheds. Look who's here. Oh, it's Harry and Bert again. Please make yourself at home, Dennis. Thank you very much. And Dennis proudly joined the two diesels, unaware of the true nature of his new friends. We'll have to find out tomorrow what Harry and Bert are up to. So that was my reaction to Dennis's Rocky Road. So what do I think of this episode? Actually, it's a good continuation on the last episode. And tomorrow will be the last part of the Neville and Dennis saga. So yeah. And I wonder what Ari and Burr are going to be up to tomorrow. Well... Will Dennis improve himself or will or <clears throat> or will Dennis get sent away? Well, we'll just have to find out tomorrow. So yeah. So that's all for this video. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Share this video with your friends and have a great day. Bye.